everyone, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of my most favorite tips when it comes to cleaning motivation, because here's the deal. None of us wake up ready to just go mop the floor or scrub the toilets or clean up the kitchen after dinner. It's just not something that we really want to do. And so we have to learn strategies that really work and keep us motivated. And before I jump into this really quick tip that you can apply today, I want to let you know on something about something that's really exciting coming up next week. And that is my most popular course, hands down, that the most women have taken from me is my course, The Motivated Homemaker. And it's going to be on sale for over 50% off next week. Normally it's $60, but next week on Friday, through the following Wednesday, it's only going to be $29, which is honestly, it's a really good deal. And I make it um, this low of a price so that as many women who want to get in can get in and it's not gonna cost you a whole lot of money to see a huge transformation in yourself and in your home and in your family. So that's coming up next week, but let's go ahead and talk about the quick tip that you can apply today. So a lot of times you don't feel motivated to clean your house because it feels overwhelming. And so you just feel so overwhelmed because you see all that needs to be done or it just feels like a huge task and you'd rather just go sit on the couch, right? So what you need to do is you need to break it down and you need to think, go all the way to the very beginning of the task and think about what is the first step that I need to take. So in order to get to the last step and to complete any kind of cleaning project or task, you have to first begin. You have to take that first step. And so if let's just say it's mopping the floor. Okay, so the first step in mopping your floor is getting up off the couch. So just do that. Say, okay, what is the first thing I need to do? I need to get up off the couch. Okay, so get up off the couch. Then think about the next step after that. Well, the next step is I'm gonna go take my mop out of the closet. And then you're gonna move on to the next step and you're only thinking about one step at a time so that it breaks it down into really manageable steps and then you start building momentum. And as you build that momentum, then you just keep it on rolling and it keeps going and you go to the next step and the next step until finally you've completed that mopping of your floor and it's done and you don't have to worry about it anymore. But it all started because you began with that first step. So whatever it is that just feels really overwhelming or just feels like too hard to do, don't think about the big picture. Go back and break it down and think about what is the first thing I need to do to get it started. Do that one thing and then move on to the next thing and then the next thing and before you know it, it's gonna be done. All right, I hope that that is helpful. Use that the next time you don't feel like doing the dishes. What is the first thing you need to do? Do it, then do the next thing and so forth. All right, that's it. If you are a homemaker and you need some inspiration, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And if you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like videos like this, then give it a thumbs down and let me know that too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.